Hello everyone, this is Grayshot117 here, bringing you a Company of Heroes to Replay brought to you by myself. Uh, for the next few replays, I'm going to be switching up between a replay of mine and or a friend of mine and a replay sent by the viewer. That way it goes back and forth, you can see awesome replays along with more awesome replays or more replays with more uh, just like WTF replays, whatever the case may be. In any case, it's a 4v4 on steps. Yes, this is a classic map, and it's Earth. It's myself. It's Redman, and it's GTA, a.k.a. TR-8R. I'm not sure. I think this is the Stormtrooper, if I recall correctly, from um, Star Wars. You can see our ranks right there. And now we have Demon, Eye Bomber from the OKH Clan. And I've run into these guys quite a few times. Guy Brush. Uh, Sheepwood, I'll just call him Guy, and this name, uh, Zeet, we'll call him Zeet, there you go, and their ranks. So as you can see, they have a small advantage with ranks, but like I say, rank doesn't mean everything, and it's funny because the next replay really demonstrates that, um, but also, it's also just a complete, just like WTF fest, but of course we're playing as allies, and we have two allied players uh british uh, two british and two well pretty much two of two so two american two a british and we have three vermok and one okw so on steps it's very simple a lot of people you either rush up north grab the munitions you either rush for mid and grab this fuel or the two stars up north as well or you head down south and you try to control the island this island essentially it's kind of surrounded by water which is why people will consider it an island but essentially um, you try to control it for a simple reason. Those you control this point control a key fuel point and to control a key uh, resource. Uh, sorry, a star point, capture point. And typically, what will happen is the, uh, the once a person controls the the bottom sector, maybe the fuel points theirs too. But then the north, they have more munitions and stars, so it's actually a good counterbalance. That way, of course, someone doesn't just hog down a ton of resources. So. What am I going to do? Well, as you can see, I push mid with the attention of holding this. Make sure, of course, we get that much needed fuel. The problem is they have an MG, so I have that issue. Luckily, again, we can at least make sure they don't get it. Up north, Redman is enjoying himself by taking out these guys. This guy, unfortunately, is moving up his MG over here. So when Redman moves in, he gets suppressed. But he did take over quite a lot of territory. He does have more British troops up north. And we see here again, he sent out a lot of British troops in an MG. So good for him. Good for him. Again, nice uh, strategic play holding this key sector. Unfortunately, the Vermont player did bring out mortars. So it was like a grenadier. Yeah. So he got a grenadier. Then he got MG or MG with that. And then he got a mortar, which is like kind of like a standard combo for the um, Vermont is typically you get one of everything. Um, that way, in case you have a lot of MG, stuff like that, you can handle typically any situation. Um, as long as you're well co uh, coordinated. And as you can see, this guy is pretty well coordinated. Unfortunately for him, I take an opportunity. I pushed over here, which I retreated. And I pushed over here, thereby allowing this MG to have to retreat. Um, he could replace, but my MG is also hitting him, which would have been very bad. And with added to troop, added uh, support with um, Red, or sorry, Red Man, Earth's troops, we were able to push him back pretty effectively. Now, down south, Red Man and GT are having some more issues. They are actually doing decently at attacking down here but unfortunately they're not getting much headway they got a few key points around the outer skirts of the island but they didn't go into the island and capture the fuel and as you can see here they're battening down this area by laying down a bunch of mines and possibly setting up yeah the Ford hq right here this is a very ballsy location honestly because it's kind of out in the open and very easy um to get spotted and with that if it gets spotted we then know where it is and we can also counter fire it. Now, as you can see here, unfortunately, so they're like, oh, let's push up north. So I see this, I'm like, oh, shoot. So my idea was to get a mortar crew. That way I could counteract this mortar crew. Because this mortar crew has been causing me issue. And to be fair, um, you know, I thought that would be a good idea. A good idea. So I stop it. I didn't lose that much. So that's pretty good. Because um, sometimes if they start shooting it, you start losing power. But if you delete it before they even shoot it, you get your manpower back which, or whatever resource you used back. But yeah, as you can see, they have a lot of bulk squads coming in. I'm just trying to hold. Unfortunately, my guy is way too low health, so I have to pull him back. I don't want to lose him any squad, so I, that way I can just instantly heal them. I figure I can make this. I figured they would fall back and realize, oh, shoot, nope. They're not going to re instantly retreat. 
luckily again, I was like, oh, they're going to instantly retreat from uh, Red Man's nice little blob over here. Nope, they didn't. Although, to be fair, Red Man's going to give him a hard time. Stern Pioneers, here's a tip. When you're fighting all that infantry, don't rush in. If it's one, if, if people forget, Stern Pioneers can take on one rifle in an infantry section if they get, like, sneak attack and get close. But if you're just like, hey, let's just charge a huge blob, you're going to get wrecked. You are going to get wrecked. Now, GTA is uh, getting his rifle when he's preparing a charge. Although, to be fair, we can see here... Wow, do they have no MGs? They have nothing. Holy shit. Okay, this guy has double MGs down here, which probably they'll be very curious about. But as we can see here... Wow, really, Redman? You do not have the upgrade for grenades? That Wait, GTA, do you? Neither of you two do. That's, that, that is required if you're versing the Vermont because of these MGs. That way you can get through and, you know, get around, hypothetically speaking. So Earth got a sniper uh, that we can help pick off guys. I am putting a fortification here, and I'm going to be putting another fortification here to prevent a flank. Because right now we got the north, essentially, but I want to make sure my flank is okay. But yeah, this guy's just trying to hold this like little uh, area up north. He does have a bunker to make sure we can't push up. But we are taking the fuel, which is very good because, again, we don't exactly have the fuel down south. Now, one of the positive things is, as you can see, though, even though uh, they didn't have smoke, um, Redman, because he's he heavy cavalry company, use off-map smoke barrage. You can see here, that way you can instantly drop, drop it down. It's 50 munitions, a little bit expensive, but not too bad. Uh, just drops it down, that way instantly there's smoke and he can pull out his men without having to be suppressed. Um, also, of course, you get the Pershing with this, Rangers, which also really get close range. Uh... And uh, GTA went the Tactical Support Company, a.k.a. the Calipi Company. The P-47 Strafing Run is actually really good at uh, hurting infantry as well. And the LMG is always a great ma a long range machine gun to help combat infantry and really take back bars. Now as you can see here, Redman's trying to get up. That way he can fire a AT grenade at it, but unfortunately he's just going to get annihilated. Uh, but luckily, he was until the Bazooka team came in. As you can see, that's a captain. Really nice hit with the howitzer and then the AT gun. Uh, AT rifle round to finish it off. We see here we have a mortar shot. Again, that was a flame barrage. You can assume that one of the OKW guys went a mortar half track, which he did. He, and he went the mo one of the most used Vermont doctrines, the spirit head doctrine. Uh, usually it's, this is good for countering uh, mortar, and uh, not mortars, uh, mortar emplacements uh, from the British or pretty much any type of emplacement the British has or any type of emplacement the Allies have in general because you can burn them out. Or even just like... Um, a forward, a forward operating post that the Soviets and British can do. That, that way you can burn down the building. Or MG locations in buildings. That's always good. And that was by uh, Zeet. We could see Demon. Oh, nice smoke. Go around the MG so his guys get less impressed. Very nice. Uh, maybe check a grenade. No, he's going to retreat. All right. But as you can see, they're slowly being pushed back, which is great. And as you can see here, I have this nice fortified line. That way we can hold this point and my guys can snipe anything down here. And also prevent a flank up north. Because right now, um, as you can see here, Earth is kind of focusing his men up north. And also he got, he got this armored car, which is good against medium vehicles. Um, which is really nice. Is the fact that it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, let's say, I would consider it like almost a proto T-34. It's like a weird looking T-34. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good at just fighting that stuff. It, don't get me wrong. Can it take as many hits to T-34? Probably not. But it's actually... I've seen it go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Panzer IVs. Um, decently. So, you know, take that for a green assault if you ever deploy it. Nice job with the, the those infantry. Again, lots of building, uh, lots of windows to fire so you can easily take out these Grandiers, as you can see here. Also does a nice pop shot, hurting the Grandier squad and pretty much pushing it back. Now, unfortunately, here we do have this MG and the armor-piercing rounds. They're not active, so we can't use it, which could do a lot of damage against the armored car. And he's just going to circle and push them back even further. Really nice. They do have a pack here. They are laying some more mines, which kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I like how most of them just got annihilated. Oh, boy. Down south, uh, Redman and GT are facing some issues. We do have a uh, nice little steward here by Redman. This is actually really good support tank. Anyway, the reason why I say the steward is a okay support tank. Uh, okay against the infantry. And while it does have some nice pop shots against the infantry, the Lukes and like the T-70, I feel, are just way better at combating infantry. Well, the steward is good at combating other light vehicles and even he heavier vehicles with its supportive abilities. We can see here a lot of uh, Pantrek forces again. Be very careful because, again, enough shots. 
and the, that thing will instantly go down. But luckily, again, he's GTA is sorry, Red Band's doing a nice thing where he's just slowly pulling it back so he can get some pop shots and usually take out an infantry squad or two. Now he's just gonna pull back. Um, maybe the howitzer can get a nice round in. Otherwise, I really don't see. Oh, nice! Quite a little bit of damage. Oh no, Stuart, fall back! Don't, 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 don't! You're risking it. You're risking it. You're. Oh no, the bank, the river bank. Oh, no, red man. Oh, red man. No. Oh, that sucks. That's why you. If you. That's why you don't coax them for too long. You just fall back. So anyway, um, where'd this guy go? Scavenge Doctrine. Jaeger Light Infantry, I feel, is a bad, because there's not, you can't deploy them behind enemy lines in this map. I mean, I guess you could. Wow, that guy got instantly knocked out. But yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it's okay. They're only good against infantry, really. So, yeah, like I, and I'll, and you can instantly block this by placing mines or something, so, you know. It's a weird to go this map, and all this one's okay, and then anti-infantry, and the, the 105 is a good artillery piece, but like I said, it's a doctrine I really don't like using. So anyway, they're uh, putting up a good fight down here, so I cannot I cannot say that they are not, um, although to be fair, as we can see, they are pushing, these guys are pushing back with everything they have. Now, up north, the armored car did get annihilated, and, uh, well... Um, of course, you know, they uh, were pushed back. However, I have made this awesome fortified area. That way, of course, we have a nice fallback point. Plus, I put a Ford HQ here, even though I'm not using them. As you can see here, that way you can boost all of these. And before you say, oh, great shot, what if they use a Stuka or a Panzerwerfer or something? They could really do a lot of damage. Yeah, against this, against one. But as you can see, I made sure that they're so spread out that... Even if they target one, they'll probably only hit one, maybe, maybe hit a second. But it would take multiple barrages and multiple locations to hit each one. You can spread these out really far. That way, again, they don't get hit with one round. So I hate when people, like, like push them all together. I, I've been guilty of this before, and I've, I think I might have a replay that I kind of do that. But to be fair, it's, a, it's nice to spread them out so, again, they don't get hit. Now, as you can see here, they are pushing up north, and they're focusing a lot more on Panzergrandiers. Maybe because we just killed the other squad, but, you know, um, not too bad. And uh, Panzer Grandiers are good at close range, but when you get the upgrade, they are worse at close range. So that is a, that is a thing you have to deal with. Um, I do have my, uh, sorry, we do have uh, Earth's uh, Royal Engineers that's fighting, but as you can see here, they just get annihilated. Luckily, my Mortar Pit is going to help out, and, um, of course, my better infantry. I made sure I got these guys the upgrades. I gave one a Piot and Bren. That way, they're good at combating infantry and... Um, armor as well so the the pi is as we can sh if i can show again we have the uh, pi which is good anti-vehicle although it's, to be fair if the, the enemy blobs it's great at fighting blobs uh because it does a lot of explosive damage and then also the uh bren is an lmg and it's good at just tearing apart infantry it's all it's it goes on par with the mg42 as this guy and it's really really powerful um now as we can see over here i'm just slowly trying to get an upgrade i did up up grade to the company command post so i do have that which is really cool but unfortunately um i just don't have enough for armor which kind of sucks luckily i put my guys behind heavy cover so they can fire really quickly made sure that they couldn't uh use a rifle grenade on my men get them out and then i'm just going to focus fire on the most obvious target try to take him out that way of course um earth's infantry can move up and be okay and also his at guns on standby which is nice just in case but as you can see, the again, my infantry is just tearing him apart, and he has to retreat. Also, I deployed smoke. Um, if you're wondering why I did that, that way artillery shells come in, and they can't necessarily push up very effectively, um, because they would be in their constant artillery barrage. And again, you could push up infantry during that, but you have a de you have a high chance of maybe losing a squad or two, or maybe just losing quite a few infantry units uh, just from the artillery, as shown there. So it's more, it doesn't necessarily do a lot of damage, it's just a nuisance. I also like how Earth came in from multiple sectors down here, that of course the MG, you'd be like, oh my god, the MG's here, and then he gets in the building, focuses there, and he's going to probably pull this guy back and shoot him in the back. Um, that's what I would do. We have a nice sniper here, which will again make sure they can't really bring up stuff. I would actually start targeting this MG, honestly, but to be fair, I don't have the, um, I only have one MG up here really helping him right now, and I want to send more stuff, but as you can see, my stuff is healing back at base. But luckily, again, I have my artillery rounds firing, so at least, you know, that's uh, helping him out. 
So I can't say, you know, everything is all that bad. Uh, fire. No, you're not gonna fire? Oh man, you guys suck. Man, I was gonna say, you guys could fire. Um, I, I do like how again the artillery was in the base. That was a really cool design choice. I, um, I wish that the other factions had that kind of special, but whatever. Um, we can see here, again, this is a blob. This is on uh, absolutely a blob, and I feel really... Yeah, they, they, now they're kind of not. They're all kind of like scrunched together, but it's going to be really hard to fight off all these guys just with one squad. Although I do like how he's buying heavy cover, so he's able to, you know, hold off. And he's just going to tear apart the engineer. If he kills the engineer squad, I will. that will be the best. Oh my god, nice flank. Nice flank. We have a Cromwell moving up. Pretty good overall tank. Wow, with the Great Ear squad being pushed. Oh, no, they still have Great Ear. <laughs> nice try to try to run him over. And now the Great Ears are running. Panzer Great Ears still here, though. Got some multiple hits. So that's bad. Can I maybe grab the flamethrower? Sniper hitting another squad. Blowing up the mines, which hurt his own men. And again, we have minesweepers, so they aren't affected. They can just clear the mines. Nice shot with the sniper. Now we get a free Panzer. Um, uh, was it a. Oh, God. Uh, Panzer Shrek, which is great. Again, just any squad having that is a pretty good deal. Uh, but anyway, Cromwell has taken fire, and they are pulling up more Grenadiers. Not necessarily all that powerful against the tank, but if they get close range, they could seriously do a bunch of damage with a Panzer Faust. Um, so that is a key issue. Now, I did kind of overextend this. I will admit this was a bad idea. I put down the 17-pounder. I should not have done this. I wanted just AT defense in mid. That was my purpose. This is overkill. I will admit, this is overkill. And then we can see here that um, Bomber has a Panther now. Again, that's what he saved up for. To be fair, not as expensive. Not, not, not as expensive. Again, I want to I want to highlight this as the Panther for the OKW. But still, it's still decently expen uh, expensive. But if you get it, it's very hard to combat this. However, if you have a good range of infantry in full... Wow. Nice plane crash. If you have a good range of infantry, you can push this thing back. We can see the Piazza at least push the, uh, the Panther back. Can you only do all that much damage um, if, as long as it keeps moving? But uh, the Piazza is great. great uh, even though it doesn't like fire directly, if the, the armor is not moving or you hit from its side, it can do quite a bit of damage. Also, nice AT gun moving up. You can see here that uh, GTA is on standby. He's waiting for the charge. He really wants to break the guy down south to push up. But as we can see down south, since the last time I've shown you guys, they have gotten more armor. They've gotten better artillery. Wow, they still... They stole an American howitzer. Wow, okay, things must have not gone well. They put bunkers down. Yeah, they're pretty much fortifying the living heck out of this place. It's funny how they try to push up, but I have my guy up here. So, you know, would have probably got torn apart if they pushed up any further. And, of course, we can see we have a double attack up here from both GTA and red man now up down south again we have a big attack by me and um uh who is it up uh, earth and um of course we can see here just tearing apart his grand ears enough brands and stuff you can easily see that again we can easily tear him apart and a t gun knocks out the bunker we move down here it's essentially great and then the flank happens this guy comes in from the north which i did not see coming T kills earth sniper Without second thought, I move my back up my forces trying to help this. He moves up his Grandier squads and the Panther, by the way, to rush the AT gun. And I kind of I feel bad because I let that open. Cromwell comes up, but again, the Panzer strikes all fire. And then the Panther's going to be like, hello, boom. Very lucky shot. I'm firing my Bren guns, but uh, my my Piots and everything. They throw a grenade. Unfortunately, I'm not paying attention. Kills one. Oh, no. Yeah, they kill a few men, but not my squad, which I felt... I was like, whew, that was close. And unfortunately, our big assault just backfired from a really nice flank. I really have to commend the um, Sheepwood. I really like that flank. That was a good attack. I can acknowledge that. Unfortunately, down south, uh, we can see here that um, Redman's forces had to be pulled back. But again, because my, my Bofors here, it's protecting him, which is giving him a better, you know, uh, allowing him to, to keep saying his forces pretty quickly. Also, look at the power of those LMGs. God damn GTA. Your LMGs are amazing. They're just tore apart that enemy infantry. And while he is still focusing on the these uh rear uh recon troops, the problem is is and they are good against infantry. The problem is that against LMGs, they're shit. They're, they just can't go toe to toe. So anyway, as we see here, it's like, oh gray shot, what are you doing? Well, right now it's like, okay, do I want to get a firefly or do I want to save up and get a Churchill comet? That's right now my big thing. 
We can see here the enemy, they actually have a decent amount of forces. Still a little bit light um, with some, but again, like this guy has a lot of AT guns, so he's ready for armor, which kind of sucks because then they have to go with infantry fo forces. And then, of course, you have the bunker here. Then they have to do artillery, but they have some artillery forces of their own with the mortar. It, it, it's a bad situation. They've really locked down this area. But again, GTA and, uh, GTA and Redman are giving them a run for their money. They are taking objectives and they are pushing. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see here up north, we unfortunately are not doing as well. They did push up a lot of men, and unfortunately, I did we lose we did lose quite a few forces. So that is a big issue. I do have a fortified line, so it will be very difficult for them to push up. However, again, it's I I I I 17 pounder was just overkill. I think. But anyway, I feel bad because they're pushing up all the infantry, but there's so much MG fire and stuff like that. The infantry are just being completely surrounded, annihilated. It's really, really difficult for them to push up. But, again, GTA, as you can see, you're saving up a lot of manpower and fuel. And you may be asking yourself why. He's saving up for the Calliope. This could be the ultimate combo. Because right now, if they use a lot of artillery, they could probably break this guy up. But right now, without that, they don't really have any sort of artillery. They, they can keep causing havoc, but they can't break them. Because they can't break the hard emplacements. Which is the big, big thing. Yeah. We also see down south they have uh, Panzerwerfers, so this is a good counter to the enemy blobs. So, yeah, it's... They're going to have to do something really interesting to really fight and really do something new. But, as we can see here, GTA stalls a lot of men and forces. A lot of vetted, too, so that's pretty good. Now, as you can see here, me and Earth... I also like the British up north and the uh, Americans down south. And it's like, we were doing so great, and then we got flanked. We're like, hey, Americans, can you help us? Um, but as we can see here, we're, we're just trying to hold. We're just trying to break their assault, make sure they can't push up anymore. I called our artillery to break down, break their assault. Um, we keep firing. Artillery's coming in. I'm going to pull back a little bit. Panzerwerfer for firing. Going to move out of that location so they don't hit our men. They did actually, one rocket did hit our guys, and they move up a Brumbar thinking, Oh, guys, we're moving up a Brumbar. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Guess what? Earth has a Firefly, and this thing will tear your armor apart. Firefly is one of the best ET guns in the goddamn game. For a reason. And watch. Boom. Once that thing once this thing gets ranked up, it's very, very powerful. But yeah. Um, they do have a couple ET guns, which is a big issue, Panzer Grenadiers, but they fired on my guys, which is a big no-no. You don't fire Panzer Strikes at infantry. You keep them back, and when you see armor, you focus on them. But the Firefly is a nice counter because as you can see. No matter what they can do, they bring up the panther, it can just be sniped by the firefly. Slowly but surely. So as long as it keeps it as long as we keep it in range, the firefly will just keep shooting at it. And that will slowly push back their armor, which is a big it's a really nice thing. They are calling in that, which is very bad. Again, we don't have artillery, so I can't really break them apart. So I have to fall back uh, so these units have to fall back. Luckily again, I I'm keeping my guys on standby just in case. Down south, again, Redman is tr trying to push up, but having some issues. Definitely having issues. Luckily, this guy's in negative cover, which you never do against uh, really good infantry. But he's slowly being torn apart and holding his point. Um, fire comes down. Wow, mines. Okay, it looks like he tried to rush up. Double Panther moving in. Oh, my God. What do you have, though? Jackson on standby, an AT gun. That could help. Just uh, turn the... AT Oh, no. Okay, it was actually shot. Oh, my God. Full back. Maybe not both squads, but whatever. Also, I love how they're like, guys, we'll send in a recon plane. It'll be great. And then my Bofors like, hey, recon plane. What's up? And then... Boom. Scares the heck out of this infantry right over here. It's like, oh, my God. There was a plane. As you can see here, we also notified that they do have a tiger, which sucks. And also, as you can see here, they did call in this uh, fragmentation bomb, which kind of stopped our infantry. Now, as you can see here, I got myself a comet tank. That way, we could have a good tank overall to fight back this infantry and armor. So, it's a good combo while the Firefly is co complements it by only targeting the armor. So, while the comet can fight the infantry and do a lot of damage, typically, double bounds I call BS, especially against this thing. I... Yeah... I, I call BS on that. But again, it's front armor slope, so of course it's harder to hit. As you can see here down south, though, they do call in a super close air support, which will target enemy armor in this vicinity. 
Um, if it's spotted, it's easier to be shot. But the one grace that they have is that there's so much tree cover, and I do have a lot of anti-air guns in the area. So every time the planes come in, they'll be hit. Um, and every time they do a strafe. So as you can see, one of the planes went down, and while this one will probably target the Pershing do a little bit of damage, it's going to fly over and be shot down almost immediately. Really? It's not being shot down? I'm really surprised. Typically, if you have just two Bofors, it just gets wrecked. But as you can see here, again, G oh, nice CT gun. Oh, can you kill it? Come on. Come on, Redman. You can do it. Come on, Redman. Nice shot. Up north, as you can see as well, Tiger got hit. Another fragmentation bomb kind of fails. We come up. I flank um, their units here. And we get a nice shot on and kill the tiger thanks to the firefly. Wait, was it the firefly? Or was it my... Was it the firefly? Or was it just infantry? Panzerwerfer shot, though, hurting the infantry, which kind of sucks. Um, but we did cause some damage. I'm going to rush up. Again, I was trying to take some stuff, and I'm like, okay, let's fall back. Luckily, again, free Panzer Shrek for his men, which is pretty good. Down south, they are trying to push up, but they did face some casualties of their own and pushing back because the anti-armor force that they have, so that's pretty good. Wrong way, AT gun. Wrong way. Uh, right now, let's see. GTA, you have double calliope. Use it, sir. Use it. Oh, nice shot with the calliope. Lots of damage over here. Pushing back that infantry. Finally, something they can hit hard targets with. It looks like the Calliope did, some, did hit this area before, which is why they probably pushed up in the first place. But now that they have some actually hard artillery, they can start breaking this uh, defensive line up. Um, but luckily, again, they haven't really broken mine up. And it's great because the Mortar Crew, I got quite a few kills with that. The Bofors been getting, you know, a lot of planes. So we can't really complain. Yeah, honestly. And then, of course, you have a safe haven for this infantry to get healed up and sent back for sent back to the front so i honestly cannot complain call down artillery here we can see it's coming down that way of course if they move up their armor they have possibility of being wow did you hit your own man you brumbar hit your own guys oh wow that sucks for you fireflies on standby keeping their armor back because again now it's two stars which uh <laughs> makes it a little more of a beast if it's three stars oh my god it's awesome so anyway, double Firefly on standby, Comet's up on front, Infantry pushing up, and we're just slowly but surely trying to hold this point. Now, they do have a Panther and a Brumbar, so that is a negative. Uh, but as you can see, they don't really have anything down south. So now, wow, they didn't even steal the AT gun? For shame. So now, of course, I'm moving on my Infantry. Uh, the reason why I'm focusing there is that way it can move up. Focus fire on this uh, uh, MG. Then I see this, I'm like, oh no, pull back, pull back. Like, see ya, dude. Yeah, any closer and I, it would have been way too hot for me. But I'm trying to hit this MG, but then, of course, it's like, okay. Whatever, it's missing. Fire smoke so they can't see me. Wait, what? I'm sorry. I fire smoke because I think it's white phosphorus. I'm like, no, it's white. It's a goddamn what? Just normal smoke shell. Kind of forgot. Anyway, big clump of forces down south. Unfor but as you can see here, though, up north. They're trying to push up again. Wait, what's this guy doing? Wow, he lost everything. My god. I'm like, wait a second. Is he attacking up north? Is that why there's so much armor? There is two tigers, which sucks. No, he just lost everything. I'm guessing from a Calliope shot from GTA. My god, nice job. Um, hold on. Let's see. And I'm assuming he lost a, more of his... Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna assume that uh, his, the Calliopes did a lot. 16 and 10. Yeah, I would say that's enough kills to kill a few squads. Now, they're moving up a tiger, and it's just... Oh, by the way, double bounce from Fireflies. I call BS on this. I have to pull back my comic as, again, it has a weakened gun. But it's like, yeah, let's move up our Panthers, guys. And, of course, Earth's infantry are right here. So they can keep being spotted while these guys... I, I just don't get it. Now, my common, unfortunately, is just pathfinding for the loss. It doesn't die, though, which is good. Move my infantry for the flank. Again, I have Piots. I just have a lot of Piots equipped in, So I'm hitting it from the flank now with all my Piots. Trying to kill it. Throw a Gammon Bomb. Because I get that with it going um, Hammer. And yeah, it does a lot against it armor. And as you can see, it killed it, which is good. They did call it a, a bombing strike right here. Their goal was to kill this thing. Luckily, again, Fragmentation Bomb does not kill armor. It doesn't do much to armor. All it does 
is it just pushes the armor. Um, it's just like it makes the vision block, which makes it just like unable to move. Now, as you can see, I'm pushing my infantry, trying to push them back. They do have Panzer for shot, but they think they did. I guess they thought I wouldn't push up as much. Now I do put a smoke down, so again that means artillery keeps coming down, which should stop them from pushing up. Which you may be saying, "Oh, great shot! What'd you do? They should have pushed up more." No, I don't. The point of the artillery is to make sure that they just fall back, and we have a nice buffer area for the time being. Like we 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 hard push them back, and this is our just like counter to make sure they stay back. Now down south, we can see here that red man. And GT are gaining more ground. They finally captured the star. And the Calliope's are doing quite a bit of damage. And before you say, oh wow, nice shot. Taking out that bunker. Before you say, great shot, the, the Vermok have nothing to counter that. Oh my god. Yes, it's a very, very powerful Katusha strife. But they have Panzerwerfers that they could use if they want to. And don't get wrong, they've had this point for so long. And then instead they decide to get heavy armor. Which I feel like, okay, get heavy armor. But you need a mix of stuff. Um, which is my rationale. Now, we do have this artillery howitzer coming in from, uh, do, 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 where is it? Yeah, there we go. 105 howitzer. But they're just like, hey, let's back up. Don't call in this massive artillery strike unless there, you have an absolute reason for it. I hate when people just call it in. No, don't just call it in. Call it in when it's like the enemy's attacking you and it's like the enemy has a choice. Keep fighting. Oh, is it going to hit in here? Oh my god! That plane was like, I'm taking you with me! And the guy looks up like, no wait, I'm on your team! I'm on your team! Oh my god, that was priceless. That was goddamn priceless. But as you can see, Earth's and GTA's forces are... It's a red man and GTA's forces are pushing up. Now I think he had direct strike right here. That would essentially wipe out that guy. But their armor's being pushed uh fall back. Oh they do! There is there is a Calliope strike over here. It killed it hurt a lot of the infantry. Nice job. And they're gonna fall back further. Again, make the report tree point back to base because this is a no-go area. Once artillery spots this point, it's like, oh no, keep your infantry away from there because it's a hot target. Anyway, as you can see over here, yeah, I got this thing back. I got back to base, which I was very happy about. I'm gonna push back with my infantry. Fireflies on standby. Three star firefly, by the way, do uh, you know, more damage. Slowly pushes back their armor. Panzerwerfer firing. I have to pull back, but again, the, the Sherman fireflies are doing what they need to. They're pushing back the armor, which and doing quite a lot of damage. So I. Again, very nice, very nice. Unfortunately, they are taking the north, which cuts our munitions. But we did finally take the south, which is a huge, huge plus. Again, GTA, it's just slow and steady. But eventually, it's like, when you find out, like, oh, the enemy has no good artillery. And they're all clumped up. Calliope's, perfect. Honestly, if they didn't have the Calliope, though, it probably would have been very difficult for them to push back. Um, which I feel like, once again, is a just just a negative to the americans where you do need uh another faction to support them with artillery because while they have good infantry and armor uh mostly um just they don't have really good uh, long-range artillery which which makes it very difficult for them to break up heavy german fortifications which i don't under but that's why you have the british which specialize in like fortifications and cracking all that stuff um but anyway as you can see here they do have a lot of armor and they are focusing a lot more men they have a lot of tires and stuff being on standby, so they still have, they still have their armor capacity if they really wanted it. Um, Demon has a panther. Again, he's on standby, but yeah. Um, if they put, but anyway, when they push down, if they push down here, it could be a bit of a fight because when I mean, they do have a Sherman, they do have a. Um, an, they, I'm sorry, and they also have a Pershing, which is really really good. It's like a panther almost, and a lot of Jacksons. But as we see here, they're not focusing down south. What's this? They're sending all their armor up north. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. They're going in for a large four-team assault. And while well, and they do Stuka over here, which is like, okay, let's just fall back a little bit. And it's like, wait, 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 wait. It's like, hold on. It's like, all right, let's just fall back. And then, heads were for shots. 
luckily again we have uh, some nice uh some air support coming in i do that so if you're wondering yes yeah, so i finally pick a doctrine i uh we have this strafing support we have British bombers coming in all over this location, helping to break up what's left down here. But as this is going on, as the final like nail in the coffin goes in for these forces up north, we have a huge, huge armor assault over here, and this random panther coming around, which I guess he tried to flank the Calliopes, but my, like, these guys did a lot. But anyway, the 105 comes in, I'm like, oh shoot, what the fuck is this? Hammer my guys. You have all this coming down south, which I'm like, oh no. Oh no, guys, we need help. So my strafing support at least is holding them back, but they have enough AA fire, they shoot them down. I'm guessing the MG's on top. So anyway, uh, we get some allied support down south, but yeah, they're sending a lot of forces at us, and we're just like, oh no. Alright, so first objective, kill the tiger. That's a pretty good objective. Second objective, hold against everything, because right now it's like, okay, what's going on? So we push in. This was a mistake. This was a big mistake. I don't think GTA and Redman knew how much armor they had. So they push up. Getting pretty much swarmed by uh, forces. But yeah, it's a pretty much a nice uh, Jackson hit. For trying to flank the Tiger. If, wow, nice airstrike. Kill your own men. Oh my god. Whatever. And actually kind of crippled them. Made them unable to move. Jackson kills the Panther. Uh, Pershing down. No. Yeah, Pershing down. Sherman down. Firefly on standby, holding back whatever those forces up. I have my Comet still holding the flank against the Tiger. Trying to move up more infantry to help out. My Comet's like, sorry, I can't fight a Tiger. You know what helps against a Tiger? The 17-pounder, which guess what? Never got used because the artillery killed it. So right now I'm just like, okay, let's heal these objective points. Luckily I still have my Bofor over here just in case they do send infantry to flank. Move up infantry. Earth moves up his infantry to try to hold this objective, but the MG is kind of suppressing them. Jackson gets pulled back. Comets on standby. I feel really bad for this. I'm like, come on, Pathfinding. Why? I tell it to move up, but I didn't mean this way. I meant this way. Uh, luckily, I get a crocodile just to help burn against infantry. So, again, that's part of the doctrine I chose. And, again, the two British, uh, we went the commando regiment. That's what Earth went. And as we can see with mine, I went the Vanguard operations. We just need the strafing support, the vehicle crew repair, and the crocodile, which is a good anti-infantry tank with a good, actually, medium armor support. Calliope fire. Firing at this location. Trying to get a nice target in. Will it kill the tiger? No, tiger makes it out. Luckily, I move up that to kill a lot of their AT guns and stuff. Uh, we have a nice flank coming in. But that being said, our forces are kind of being spread thin. I no longer have the bow for here so they can move up easily. But yeah, it's... Unfortunately, even though like we are low on men, they're also low on forces as well. Also, lo love this. It's like, let's get near the crocodile bird to death. Unfortunately, I see this. I'm like, oh no. Pull back. Guess what this is? Another super close air support. Luckily, it's a Churchill, so we can take a lot of hits. Double Panther moving up. I fortify this. Jack. Luckily, they're fo so fo again. They're kind of Jackson's able to get some nice pepper shots in. Call on a flame barrage, fortify. But they're really trying to throw everything they have at us to break us, because that's what they need to do. And they're doing some nice hits. They have a lot of air support coming in. A lot of different stuff. Throwing in bombers to try to break up this positioning. Yeah. But luckily, that means I can just focus more armor-wise, and my Churchill's just going to burn these guys. Oh, I love that. But yeah, overall, it's like they still have a lot of armor, especially this guy, which is probably the best guy with armor on their team. And they're trying. They're really trying, but luckily, we have a nice 4-5 line. Um, unfortunately, though, they are take, retaking the south, which we tell, like, hey, guys, I know they're all up north, but hey, just focus your guys down south. That way, of course... Um, we, we can hold that objective. Luckily, again, he moves up the Tiger in a really bad location. Panzerwerfer hits the infantry in cover, which kind of sucks. That for, um, But luckily, they throw a bunch of AT grenades and a flank with the Captain and Firefly flank. Here's the, here's the thing. Panzer, uh, was it? Yeah, Panzer Tactician, great for firing smoke. Here's a tip for you. When, you're, when your engine's crippled, don't use it because you're not going anywhere fast. Out of commission. I'm like, fire! Yes, one last shot. Nice job, Earth. Nice job. 
Crocodile's on standby, kind of healing. I'm using my special ability to heal my uh, units. Let's see what else they go. So they went to... Oh, did they really... Okay, this guy went the same doctrine. This guy went to Lightning War. Suku Closer sports pretty good as we saw. And the Tiger, of course. So yeah, they all went Tiger. Of course. Gotta get that Tiger, guys. Gotta get that Tiger. But yeah, they still have quite a lot of armor. But luckily, we still have a majority of the territory. So even though... Even though we have been faltering. I've also been saving up a lot of fuel just in case of emergencies like this. Because I was at pop cap. So I'm like, alright, I lost my... I, I lost, the, like, I lost quite a few forces. Grab a crocodile, why not? Moving back a lot more infantry, we're just trying to hold against here. Red is kind of focusing more on mid, which is where uh, GT and Red Man are kind of focusing, as we can see here with the Pershing. Uh, nice, but unfortunately, as we can see, a lot of armor moving up, which kind of sucks. Still have my mortar crew. Still happy about that. Have my mortar crew. Captain firing a few shots. Pershing firing a few shots. Holding it back. Luckily, again, we have a lot of forces here. Call down smoke. Probably in a bad location. Probably should have. Probably should have put throw more back, but I just want to make sure they didn't push up. Still have a lot of armor back here. Still waiting. Um, down south, we can see here that even though uh, GTA is a lot of force up north, his infantry is down south and just wrecking house. Again, LMGs. So much better. Just tearing you apart. They still have this position here, and if red, if GTA kind of swung, swung down south, he can maybe take it out. But with so much lingering armor, it's probably a bad call. We can see here they don't exactly have a lot of infantry, but they have a lot of armor. Um, well, yeah, I'll say that 31 kills, not bad. But they still have a lot of forces, so it's like you have to be very cautious about where you send them. Also, I no longer have four retreat points, so now I'm all my infantry have to run back to base, which it does kind of suck. Oh, he calls in an airstrike, hits his own tank. It's like, man, you are a genius. I don't know who this guy... Yeah, this guy is like has some of the like really nice armor, just like c keeping it alive. But seriously, it's like, really? I just say nice, because I'm just like, yeah, I was befuddled. I Like, that panther had us dead to rights, and it just get hit with it. And I'm like, what does, it, what does this mean? No chance. Also, plane hits tiger, love it. Moving back in infantry, Calliope firing a few shots over here, hurting and pushing back the Panther. I move my infantry to kind of push them back. But I, I don't understand what he said by no chance. I really don't. Are you saying you had no chance at the game? Or, or are you saying no chance like, no, that was not, that was not a good compliment. I'm like... So I'm not sure what he meant by that. I'm trying to kill this. And I'm, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not retreating, I'm just trying to get recon. I retreat my forces. And I get my recon, so again, my again the units here can still see this tiger and we can try to take it out. So I'm like, alright, let's uh, move up my comet real quick. Let's activate war speed, why don't you? And just try to flank it. It's like, doop to -do, do don't mind me. Just gonna do circles around a unit. But wasn't two star? Yeah. Wait. Wh hold on. Oh yeah, white phosphorus. I knew that was white. Okay. Yeah. I knew this was white phosphorus. It was like what? Get another comet to help out, but my other one survives, which I think is pretty incredible. Other comets just holding off, trying to fight over here. They are sending a lot of armor and stuff down south, but luckily, GTA and Red Man are just giving them one heck of a run. Also, man, nice uh, artillery fire right there. I like how the, per the the Panthers like, yeah, we got this, guys. And Jackson's like, hello. Wow, really bounce. Yakming yeah, vet. Nice job killing that, but you still have a second Jackson. Oh wow, really bounce again. Pershing's like, hey, whoa, whoa, don't hurt my friend. Don't hurt my friend. Nice shot, Pershing. Nice shot, Pershing. Come on. Come on, Pershing. Get the kill. Get the kill. Oh, bounce? Really? Oh, no. Oh, nice kill. Two stars. Pull back before you get killed by Panzer Grandiers. Sure, go right through the force. Why not? Oh, T-Gun moving up. I think this is a bad time. But luckily, again, we have most of the north. I have a... Oh, sorry. Earth has a Churchill. And I have my own church show, but it has a flamethrower on it, which makes it even better. 
I'm sending my guys to capture these points. I'm uh, sorry, Earth is setting his force to capture, and I'm sending my guys up north. Try to push them as hard as I can. But as you can see here, they still have a decent amount of armor, but most of the other guys have been pretty much annihilated. Well, as much as they keep trying to attack down south, not going all that well for them. Also, I healed my little mortar emplacement. But again, hands down, Calliope. Nice job, GTA. Nice job on that approach. And also, can't discount the Pershing. Pershing, you're doing a pretty good job. Really good job of fighting that armor. Also, really? Send in the Panzer for dude? It's like, man, nice n nice try. It's like, sure, why not? Nice grenade. Very nice grenade. Maybe a little bit closer would have been better, but still. Really make an infantry regret it. Now, of course, uh, uh, now we still have a tiger coming around here. I'm like, hang on. Hi, tiger. Let's, uh, focus. So we have a Churchill down here. We have a comet up north flanking it, and another comet over here. Seeing my two star one with my infantry to, to go flank it. Firing a bunch of Piots at it, cause a little bit more damage. Fire it again, fire again, and now they activating another ability. I'm like, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's uh, get out of here. Like, I see your, it's like, yeah, dude. It's like, I'm just going to get out of the area. And then, of course, gets killed. By the, the, a lot of these bunkers. Now, another Tiger's up north, and it's like, I guess it tried to help, but it's like, it didn't know what it was doing. So we slowly push that one back. Oh yeah, I send my oh I send my crocodile and I'm like I'll burn the infantry and then of course it got it, main gun got knocked out. So it's funny I deploy smoke on it so that way it would make them very hard to see and they have to like attack on target, give a, a few extra seconds. They call it another tiger because that's really gonna help you out. It's a good tank, but I'm just gonna keep firing with my comets. Unfortunately, I have a lot of Panzer Grandiers, which kind of sucks. Uh, but they have a lot of armor combined. I wish I had an airstrike or something that could do a lot of damage against this. But strafing, uh, the the uh, strafing support is okay against two. It's not really good against one. It's not like the P-47s or you know or the Sturm Vic, which is Sturm Vic's good against infantry, that, and the p 47s really good against armor. This is just good against both. It's okay against both, I should say. Um, they are pushing a lot of stuff down south. Pershing did bite the bullet. Jackson's firing long range trying to help that out. Luckily, Tiger's been knocked out. And Jackson, will, yep, there it goes. And you have a random, per, it's like, see you later, just gonna send your forces. Yeah, we say good game, because it was a good game. They are sending a lot of men. They're trying to do a final desperate push, but they can't really take anything else. They're essentially trapped in their base. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed that game. I was surprised by how well we did. I was surprised by how effective that we were able to counter their stuff. I was actually surprised that G even Redman and uh, GTA even took the south because I told him to give it up because I, I saw how many losses they were taking. I'm like, guys, if you can't take it, hit him from another direction. But lo and behold, again, just applying the right doctrine really helped and it just was able to break up that heavy fortified area. But I really like this doctrine because, again, uh, this uh, because it also showed that None of the none of the players were necessarily bad. Sure, some of the airstrikes are questionable, but it showed how everyone had flaws. Um, I had my 17 pounder issue. Uh, this guy had the airstrike issue. Um, was it uh, red? No, I'm sorry. Red has the airstrike issue. I think. Yeah, it was. No, was it? Anyway, um, the demon was like a pretty good player, but I think he chose the wrong doctrine. It's like it. I, I overall just like the tactics and stuff like that and also like little stuff like the flank up north and again uh, GT and Redman's attack on the south and how they even though they couldn't break them they still did a really nice job of not losing their men but providing enough pressure to where they couldn't leave the south they couldn't pull their men away because the battle was still going there even though all and behold they were still had the fuel and pretty much everything under lock and key which is really really interesting and I really enjoyed that. Um, which I thought would be a good replay, but man, I have a, another four. I again, this was kind of, I, I I hate my fortified line over here. It was okay. Uh, the 17 pounder was overkill. I should have probably not gone that and probably gotten another comment. Uh, but overall, damage wise, Redman got the most damage. Kills wise, GTA got it, of course, with his Calliope's doing a pretty good job. Earth got in second, GTA third, and I came in fourth, but we're all within 5,000 points. So as you can see, it was pretty close. Now, I Bomber and Guy Brush. 
Both did really well. 61,000 damage and most kills. So Guybrush, again, for being the lowest ranked person on their team, did way better than the other three, which are all three stars. So once again, rank means nothing for performance. But in any case, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this replay. If you guys have your own replay you want to send in uh, to me, again, uh, I'll be doing a flip-flop, so uh, um, I will make sure that every you'll at least see one to two replays a week viewer submitted. So make sure you guys send that in, and I will take a look. If it's bad, I will not air it. I will not show it. And, but if it's bad, if it's bad entirely, I won't show it. If it's bad... Because the enemy team did something that you were like, oh my god, what the fuck? Then I'm like, okay, send it. Like, again, I had a game where literally the enemy used 15 uh, British snipers. And I'm like, yes, that's something interesting. That's something we've never seen. Or rear echelon spam. Or maybe an awesome flank or something like that. St stuff like in, sure. But if it's a 15, if it's a an hour and 30 minute slog and it's just armor going back and forth and it really just fiddles out, it's like, eh. I really don't care. But that's a, a little, like, idea of what I'm looking for. In any case... I want to thank you for watching again. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.